That is the one we are looking for right there, guys. That is the bite. Ooh, just got heavy. Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Come along with me on this catfish adventure. We're gonna see if we can find some fish because we are fishing in some hideous fishing conditions. So here's what the deal is, guys. Uh, I'm out here day after a bunch of uh, weather that came through. Uh, it looks beautiful. I mean, we've got a beautiful day to be out here, but it's just looking like we're in position for a bad bite. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I've only got one bait with me today. I'm not bringing my chicken. And uh, I've just got nothing but gizzard chat. Uh, I got a bunch left over from a trip day before yesterday, so I'm using those baits. They're good baits, they've been on ice. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna do nothing but drag today. At least I think I may anchor. We'll see, but I'm gonna try covering some water just to figure out where the fish are. I think we might have us catfish. Look, he's on there. Oh, yes, we hooked up. We hooked up. We hooked up, man. It's about an hour and a half into this fishing trip. It's not only the first fish I've hooked up with, it's the first bite that I've had. We had, uh, we had some snow yesterday, which for us isn't a big deal here. Uh, or I say this wasn't a big deal. This snow, it wasn't that much. Uh, more of a cold rain than anything. That's what I'm getting at. 33, 34 degree moisture hitting the water. Really drops the water temperature. And I think that's what we got going on today is that it has killed what good bite there is. Uh, I got a couple of buddies that are out here fishing. And I may have caught the first fish today. So far, anyway. I'm trying to crack the code on where they're at. I went up in some creeks. That's a decent fish. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Let me get this one in the boat first. They say. Oh, misty, misty. Bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Woo, simmer down. It's going to weigh. Yeah, 16 pounds, put us a waypoint in and come back to that. Nice fish. Hello world. There he is. Anyway, going to get him released alive, I'll tell you kind of what set all this up. Shoot. So what I'm doing, guys, is uh, kind of making a slow pull through here, doing about 0.3. I'm really, really slow. We got water temperatures at right at 50 degrees. Got a spread of six rods. Uh, all my colored rods across here, the uh, green, red, and orange are drifting rigs, Santee rigs, and then I've got one down line. Uh, on each side of the boat that is suspended about four cranks off the bottom just in case there's any suspended fish That was working for me About a week or so ago out here. I was catching a bunch of fish that were suspended up off the bottom So I decided to put some uh, baits out here. The bad part is I'm not marking a lot of fish So either the fish are totally somewhere else uh, Which in this case would have meant they would have had to have left this part of this lake that I'm in or they're just laid up in the mud. And uh, sometimes you'll hear me say I'm fishing blind. And what I mean by that is I'm basically fishing an area where I'm not marking a lot of fish. And sometimes during really, really bad bites, um, that's what happens. They're just laid up in the mud. And that may be what's happening here, we'll see. But uh, it's just gonna cover some water, trying some river channels, some river, river ledge, uh, some stuff up on the flats next to it. I'll cross some points. And uh, if that doesn't pay off, gonna go somewhere else uh, the question is uh, where will I go uh, at that point because I've covered a lot of water we'll see all right folks there's something weird on this rod let me see what this is oh that is a fish that is a fish it's a fish it did something a minute ago but it never went over it was like it was just kind of Almost like it was pulling some fishing line or something. There's a fish on there. I'll take it, I'm coming up out of the river channel. There's a point comes out behind me, you can see over here. 
So I'm kind of out here, coming out of like 45, 50 feet of water up to about 30. Decent little blue. Good eater size fish. Not exactly hook super duper good, but we got it in the boat. To boom, simmer, 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 quit, 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 quit. There we go. Bada bang. Well, that wasn't exactly as smooth as I wanted it to be. There you go. We got one. <laughs> How long is that? Two hour drag? Finally got a fish. All right, guys, I've just got some small gizzard chad. I'm gonna cut those up. I've got a couple of big ones out already. I took a whole shad, did kind of my little, uh, I call it the Polish filet. Made it into a big bait. I've got a video on that, check it out. Uh, but I'm gonna cut up some of these smaller ones into some smaller pieces that hopefully we can at least find some biting fish on. It's not a super huge piece of bait, but considering the size hook I got here, which I think is a five alt, get that sucker on there. We'll catch some fish. Just curious if there's any biting fish. So, like I said, I've got big baits, but I've also got some smaller stuff out. Just to see if there's some biting fish. Uh, I call them my barometer baits. It kind of checks the <laughs> barometer on just what's going on with the bite. And so far today, it's not been good. So you may be wondering, uh, Am I just in the wrong place? Am I just fishing in a bad spot? I mean, that's always possible. But the area I'm fishing is kind of what I've said before in other videos. I've went from the back of a major feeding, feeding creek here uh, that feeds into the lake. I've checked it, looked in it, fished part of it, came all the way out to the main river channel, the main part of the lake. So uh, what I'm getting at is Pretty, you know, so what you may be asking yourself is, um, are you just in the wrong part of the lake, Dieter, and there's no fish there? Well, I mean, that's always possible, but the area that I fished so far today, pretty wide ranging from a major feeder creek in this lake, all the way out to the main river channel, and all that area in between, and the fish just haven't been there. This is not the time of the year being the dead of winter, that fish just up and make massive migration runs. Uh, even though catfish don't technically migrate, they don't make big runs this time of the year. They're generally gonna be, they're almost like uh, crappie. They're gonna move back and forth between certain areas depending on what's going on with the water, uh, the weather, that type thing. And I've covered a lot of those areas. I think today, it's just one of those days where it's not a good bite and it's not on fire and it's tough fishing. And sadly, that's what you face in the wintertime sometimes. There are days when it's good and it's on fire, especially if we get a warming, a warming uh, trend. But when you have weather like we've had the past couple of days where there's been snow, cold rain, you can get left uh, with a bite like this where you're really struggling to catch fish. That is the one we are looking for right there, guys. That is the bite. Uh, that is the bite. I'm telling you, if you're gonna have a bad day of fishing, you want to see one bite like that. It's a good bite right there. <laughs> that makes a bad day of fishing worth something. I don't know how big the fish is, but it went over like a good bite. I'm gonna punch a waypoint right there. Oh, uh, usually my luck recently, you get that good blue bite, it goes over and it comes flying back. This one buttoned up. So we'll see if we can get it in here and get a look at it. I don't think it's a monster, but it hasn't started doing the, I'm gonna go wherever I want to dance yet. Some rods are rearranged here. Keep that tension on that rod. There we go. I think it's a bugger grip fish, but I'll take it, man. I'm telling you, struggle, struggle, struggle today. Wintertime fishing, especially after a cold snap. Get 
this around this. Oh boy. Oh boy. He just got bigger. Hey. Hey. He's sucking some line now. This, uh, oh, come on, stay button. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. See bubbles. Let's nurse this one over here. So want to come to the top. I wished he wouldn't do that. I don't like fish on top of the water away from the boat because they can get the flailing also. Oh, I seen one toe. He's massive. He's massive. He's got a tag in him too. He's massive. Giant, giant fish, giant fish. That is a pig. It's the one we're looking for. There he is. Nice one. Big fish. Going back alive. Bang, there you go, man. That's a uh, that's a heck of a fish. It's a heck of a fish. That uh, I've said it before on this lake that I'm fishing. Uh, that's a once a year fish. And uh, hey, this is the first week of uh, January, so that might be my only one for the year. I did get one a couple weeks ago uh, that was 58. So anytime you break the 50 pound mark on this lake, it's it's about as big as they get. It's it's about as big as you can reasonably reasonably expect to catch anything in that 50, 60 pound range. Is, it's top of the food chain. So man, I'm blessed to have it and to have gotten it in a boat. Uh, a buddy of mine has caught it before. It did have a tag in it. Matthew Anthony caught it. And uh, about the same size right there in that 52 pound range. Uh, I uh, weighed it one time and then I forgot I didn't have, have my net handle on it. So yeah, right around 52. Uh, a good fish, a, a really good fish. The rest of the day has been uh, just nothing. It's just bad fishing. Uh, lucky to put that fish in the boat. Uh, it's just a slow, slow bite. I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, drifted a bunch of water out through here, covered uh, a big flat area here, muscle bed, and just kept on pounding. And it just ain't working. But, you know, three fish, you know, a teener, and... A 52, it's a good day. Uh, I'll take it. I wish the overall fishing was better, but honestly, usually when I catch a big, big fish, it's usually on a bad bite. And uh, to be perfectly honest, the uh, 58 I caught a few weeks ago, same thing. It was overall a bad bite, a slow bite. So, um, so yeah, that is what it is. I don't know what the rhyme or reason is to that. I try to keep that in mind though when I'm out here in the bite. It's really, really bad is that maybe I'll get a good one. I got a good one today. Thank you, Lord. That was a good one. And uh, it's back in the water uh, for you guys to go catch. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.